So for question 1a, we've got a factor 9x cubed y minus 18x cubed y squared. One thing you might like to do is, well, I'm just going to do it just to show clearly what's going on here. We have 9 and then x cubed, by the way, is 1, 2, 3 x's being multiplied by each other. Then we have a y minus 18 and x cubed again is 1, 2, 3 x's and y squared is 2 y's. So that's all we have. Now, to factor this, we're going to pull out the greatest common factor. Now to factor this, can you see that you can pull an x out from here and an x also from here? Then another x from here and another x from here and another x from here and here as well, right? You can also pull out a couple of y's. You can pull out, if you pull out this y, you can also pull out a y from here. So these are the common things you can pull out from each one. So you can clearly see we can from each one we can pull out three x's and one y, right? Now if you look at the numbers, nine goes into eighteen, doesn't it? So we can pull a nine out from each of these numbers, right? Now what we have is so what the what we pulled out our greatest common factor GCF greatest common factor here, here is nine x x x times y and we pull that from here so that times one will give that minus now what's nine times nine times what gives eighteen nine times what gives eighteen nine times two right and what else is left over here that we couldn't pull out we couldn't pull out this y could we right so he's left here so it's nine x x x y times one minus two y which is nine x cubed y times one minus two y okay now that's the greatest common factor because that's the most things we could pull out from each term, right? And we'll also check this just to make sure we didn't make a mistake. If you multiply 9x cubed times 9x cubed y times 1, what do you get? 9x cubed y. And what's 9x cubed y times 2y? Well, 9, 9 times 2 is what? 18. So that's uh, minus 18, right? And then you've got your x cubed. Now, what's y times y? That's y squared, isn't it? Okay, so it checked out correctly because that's what we started with: nine x cubed y minus eighteen x squared y x cubed y squared. Of course, this part was the answer. This is the answer here, right?